So the latest version of Logseek dropped and it has the simple query builder in it. This is essential. I helped people of all skill levels when I was younger and I learned that not everybody just learns to write code. So having a way to click things together, to mess around with the settings is a huge deal and means that a lot of people are gonna unlock this power move with inside Logseek. Now, how does it work? If I go to Logseek and I create a query, now I already have like a bunch of to-dos under here that we can play with. And uh, I just generated that with ChatGPT and added a couple of uh, priorities to it. Clicking on it, you immediately see that stuff has changed. So there's this button on the end, which means that you can switch between table view or list view. The settings, which is always there to decide which properties you wanna see. I really hope that that becomes more like a, a column thing. And then you have live query and the plus to start searching. Now, if you still wanna add it like you used to do, you can click on live query itself and you get back into the text editor and you can just type your text. But we're here for the live query function. So let me try that out. I click on the plus and I can immediately decide like, hey, I wanna filter on blocks or pages. In this case, we're going for blocks because I'm gonna filter on the to-do list that's under it. Now I don't wanna search for everything. So I'm gonna start by doing a page reference and type in simple query, meaning that I wanna search everything that's on this page. So what you basically get is a return of what's already down below in my example. And then, for example, I wanna filter and I say like, hey, I want everything that's referring to toys. So I go here, I type in toys, and then immediately like you see that it goes down by a whole lot. But now I also have like the line and I just wanna have tasks so I can go plus again, go to task and pick, I want everything that I need to do, that's either in to do or doing, or you can also add now later, you can add as many as you like here. And then this is one of the problems, and I kind of did that on purpose. If you misclick somewhere, then it goes into the query editor and you lose whatever you were doing. So be very careful when you do this. If you click on that and I'm going like, hey, I just want a task and I want it in to do doing, click not in this line. And my advice currently is, is to aim for this plus button because then it nearly always works. I really needed to mess around with this and I hope that in the next version we get something like an apply button or that if you click on live query, it doesn't go to the editor, but knows that, hey, you're editing or adding like a property, stick to that. So you can see that you can quickly build up a query just to suit your needs. And I can also click on this one to change it into a table. But that one, of course, we were already used to. It works very well with things like properties. It's not there yet. I think definitely on the usability end, we could use something explaining why the end is in the beginning and not in the middle is something I'm gonna talk about. I'm currently building a video for the simple query builder. I already had the script going. I just need to modify it a bit to make sure that this whole live query functionality is included. I hope that it will drop Friday, else Monday, depends a bit. I wanna get that one perfect because it needs to be a reference for anybody that wants to learn how to do simple queries. But be sure to either subscribe or check in next week to see the video when it hits. I'll probably also post it over all my social medias. Now remember, you're awesome. See you in the next one.